Let's do it. I bet I can do it quickly. I was playing game, so you want me to keep playing? Okay. Let's do it then. I wonder how fast I can get through it now that I hopefully remember everything. Pretty good game though. Um, I, I feel like the ending was a little there. Like, not that like I'm one of those people that expects like an epilogue and a bunch of information or anything, but like just the last section of the game felt really kind of nothing. Like the only thing that really happened was like, people like dying or so then of course opening the city was great, but like it was just really First stream tuning in. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Start over. The first thing you have to do is play with all the other cats. This is my family. I know this game needs character creation. I don't understand why you can only play as the one cat. I don't get it at all. It's very silly to me. It feels like such a miss that you can't even pick which of these cats you play as. Somebody apparently modded in the ability to play as the black cat. Also kind of like I think the game is like utterly gorgeous drop dead but I don't think the cat faces are that good especially when they like talk It's like just one crate I have. I don't think it's bad. Faces are just always hard. Faces are really hard. Yeah, you don't really. Except in cutscenes when I do. I can't do it in this because I'm pre-rendering it. You can meow during other cutscenes and like while you're sleeping and stuff. An achievement for meowing a hundred times and basically everybody who's played this game gets it within like 10 minutes. Friends, my friend. Let's go friends. Coming? We're drinking. Let you get drink too. True though. Oh, to be a cat in a cyberpunk post-apocalyptic. Uh, 
nuclear waste in the future. I actually don't know if it's nuclear waste. You do play as a boy cat though. They gender you at some point. They could be wrong, I guess. It's not like they pick you up at check. This is the most useless button in the game. Why would I ever do this? I don't I never used it. And again, I didn't I didn't 100% the game, so. robots. Ooh, the robots are super cute. They have good fashion. They don't even help me. It makes me so mad. I'm limpy biscuits. It's okay, we live, we recover. <laughs> Eventually. Progress is not linear, right? Caster's curse. Yeah, exactly. They, okay. Uh, they sent out an email about something at work, and I responded with like, "Is this confidential?" And she responded with, "This is completely not. Did not even like just such not an answer to the question I was looking for. Very <laughs> weird. But I don't want to like. <laughs> I don't want to be like. That's great. But is this confidential?" <laughs> I think there's a speedrunning achievement for doing this in under two hours. I wonder if I can do that. I feel like I definitely could if I weren't also trying to get everything.
There's an achievement for getting through this part without getting hit by anything. And it legitimately seems impossible. <sighs> I died? Are you kidding me? I didn't even die the first time. Yeah, it could be fun. I like playing games like with people like that, taking turns. Like with kids. We used to a lot when I was a kid, take turns with my like, cousins and sons and stuff. Fuck! That's a far too. Yeah, it is a good hangout experience. Honestly, it being short makes it a better hangout experience. You can eat it when you're sitting. Yeah, it is nice. Especially when they're horror games, they need to break. Yeah, that is kind of absurd, but like, it's a sort of thing. Every time you die. Well, it sort of just means like, there'll be hours and hours before you die, and then you'll be rotating a lot in a boss fight. <laughs> Such a good fight. You killed him first try? What the fuck? I definitely, I still don't even kill him first try. That's awesome. Good for you. You should beat Elden Ring. Odd gamer over here. No, there's no luck. You make your own luck. I don't like the way the jumping works in this game. It's like your angle, camera's not always perfectly aligned. Certain jumps, the problem just doesn't come. It's really annoying. Good night, so thanks for hanging out. I'm surprised they didn't use this mechanic more either. In some ways the game sort of feels unfinished. Not because it's unpolished, but just because there's like... It's just so light on every mechanic. They introduce stuff that they just don't use. They don't use very often. This is the best part. This is why I bought the game. I saw somebody do this and I was like, I'm sorry. I hope so too. I would play a sequel too. I mean, I still generally like the game, it just is very basic. But they nailed everything that isn't the gameplay portion of it. And even the gameplay is good, it's just not. But like a sequel that was like, it doesn't even have to be longer. I guess I wouldn't mind it being longer. 
I like that this is short though, but also like if the game were more involved, I probably would not mind it being longer. But it's just it's just so like simple, you know. Uh, but the world and everything they built is like so just ten out of ten. Art style and stuff. I would like to see more. It's over here. God damn it. Fine. Come on. Why are you stuck? Wait, so you haven't seen this part of the game, right, Alicia? This is the most accurate portion ever. I'll show you. I think B12 is so cute. It's just like one short thing. What's this, this vest thing on me? The cat, I've become all slinky. <laughs> and I think it's so accurate because this is what cats do, like, when you put clothes on them, they just do this, and I don't know why, but it's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah. At some point he just gives up and lies, lies down again. Yeah. Io and Nova were like this too. I haven't put. I don't. I'm not gonna ever try to put clothes on Pico and Nana. Probably they'll kill me. But this felt very accurate. Slinked. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Backpack. Let's get out of the map. Let's just check the number. Wait, is it on here? Yeah. Oh, that one's like automatic. Not for long. Yeah. Exactly. Don't remember the code. It's fine. Three, seven. Like, the torchlight is another thing where, like, you can turn it on and off, but you literally never need to do that outside of the one room where they show it to you. Yes! 
Here's memory number one. I won't need anybody. Or will I? Stretch him. Get that stretch in. Oh yeah. <laughs> that would definitely help, right? Stretching. Keeping them. I would pro I think the only thing the only problem I have with standing desk is like cable management is annoying. And in my experience with them, it's not they're not a hundred percent good about not having problems when you go up and down. It's 
achieve and unlock. Yeah, I monitored them out. Made it easier for you? How so? Yeah, yeah, because the problem I would have is like, the cables would just get tangled and untangled when I'd go up and down, so sometimes they would catch, which is like, very bad. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's not the inherent one, two, three. It's not the inherent standing nature of it. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't. I know some people make it work, but I don't know, but. But yeah, that makes sense. Um, because yeah, I don't. Well, the the other thing is like I don't love this desk. I do like that it has a drawer in it, and a cable management thing in the back. But mostly, what I like it for is the headphone holder that it comes with and the. The cup holder, but I mean, I have those separate. But um, but I I don't like it mostly because it's small, and I don't know if getting a standing desk would like fix that. Obviously, it depends on the size of the desk, but it's not like. You know, I don't know. I don't just magically have more space. I used to I used to use the standing desk a lot. My jobs, both my jobs, previous jobs, in person jobs actually. Uh, so I kind of miss it, but also like I just don't have space in any other desk. I don't think. Yeah, this one is definitely not. This one's probably four feet. Ugh. Um, I need to go to the laundry. You got a curved one? Can you? I want to see a picture of it. I mean, I know you posted pictures, but I don't remember it being curved. I can I can just go look at them later. It's, it's just, Oh right, I have to I do have to go up there because I have to knock the book. Oh, there's a it's there's a scoop it's scooped. There's a cutout. Okay. I think that would fuck me up. I mean I like it, but I think it would fuck me up because Fucking because of like, I, I, like, I like to use like a desk mat and stuff. It's not that the other thing is like my speakers are behind my monitors, which is not ideal either. But I don't really have a good fix for that other than mounting them high, which I could totally do, but I don't want to. Ugh, this is so annoying. Just jump down. God. Yeah. I have, like, proper monitors. Like, audio monitors. Um, so I have to use them with an amp. Whoa, that was freaky. I don't 
remember if there's anything else in here. This is, I'm really doing this, trying to do this quickly. Uh, I'm really feeling how annoying the E button prompt is. Like, I just can't jump on any of this other shit. So, whatever. I guess I'm hoping that there's not other shit music in there. Well, that's the other thing about the standing desk that I didn't really want to deal with is changing, like, buying more cables. Because, like, one of the biggest things with cable management is having cables that are the right length. And a lot of mine are either too long or too short. I don't know if they're too long. If the too long ones would be the right length if I had a standing desk that, like, when it was standing, I don't know. It's just a lot. It's just no way. Cable management sucks. But I had to, like, when I when I spent, like, a couple days doing all of this, um, I kind of resigned myself. I was like, this is never going to be perfect until I, uh, I have, like, I, unless I buy all new cables. Not all new, but, like, a lot of new cables. So it was like, what's the point? Just barely over the scary. I have a white case. It's nice, it just gets dusty really fast. It's not like black cases don't also, it's just something. Oh. What if you use actual tools? Did you just get a set of reason? Drills and shit? My window is not visible, but I also don't care. I think most of them are in the same place, like not on, not on the right side if you're facing the case, because the motherboard typically is mounted there. Oh, like a saw. Uh, I see. I mean, you might be able to, but like, and your motherboard would be mounted upside down. Backwards, you know. It would have to be upside down. Yeah, the whole case would have to be like, prepared vertically. Unless you find a motherboard that's like a left-handed motherboard, but I don't think they make those. You just have to move the case. I mean, is there, is there a way for you to orient it just so it's on the other side of your desk? Yeah. 
If you find one, let me know. I'd be really curious to see if they make any like that. But yeah, like, you know, you, you would have to have a different motherboard too. Ah, uh, I see. Yeah, I guess you just need different cables again. <laughs> so dumb. I think that's all of the energy drink. On a shelf. Yeah. Mid sizes are good. Well, now that I don't have a NAS, or now that I have a NAS, I kind of don't need. Like, my problem with mid sizes, they didn't have enough hard drive space. But now I only use one. I only got an ass. So I guess I could downsize. Um, people make really, really nice, like, small box, small ones that get good airflow now if you use, like, a ITX or any ITX board. Because they, uh. They're just, like, better engineered to have more fans on the outside, I guess. So you could also get one of those, like, cube ones and put that on a shelf. They're pretty nice. I don't know how hard they are to work in, but you can like fit full graphics cards in them and stuff. They're definitely like feasible. Elliot's house, but otherwise, never build a mini again. I mean, that's fair. I just have heard that they're getting pretty nice now, and some of my friends are looking into them. They're better than this. Yeah, working in a full is much better, and even that is like not. Graphics cards are so big now. Like, I have a shroud inside mine at the bottom right to cover the PSU. It's like just no space. I just jam cables in. There's nothing else you can even do. here. So it's one.
these two. Yeah, you can't, like, if I'm pressing the jump button, I can't do anything. You have to have a prompt in order to jump. And it, like, it's, this is, it's the main reason why I, like, say, like, the gameplay is, like, good but not great. Because it, it just feels really, like, clunky and restrictive as a result. Because I just don't, like, I'm constantly, like, having to do with, like, orienting the camera the right way and, like, waiting for prompts, you know? It just slows everything down, like, so much. It's not that bad though. Like I still think it's fun, but it's just a weird. Like, jumping is such a cat thing to do that it like like and they know that, which is why the whole game is structured around jumping, but making it like a prompt only situation just I can. I mean, I can meow, but I can only scratch when I have. I got a scratchable. As if cats would only, you know, scratch. I actually don't remember where the safe. So don't remember. It's like here something. Don't lick his butt. <laughs> Can't lick your butt. How not accurate. It's so fake. Fake ass game. At least the music is truly tough. <laughs> Okay, I got the key. That's why there's no password. True, no litter box. You don't poop at all this whole game. I mean, I think the game takes place over like. Well, actually, no, I don't think it does. It's weird. Like, time advances very quickly, like, uh, when you do things, but there's, like, no, like, indication that time is passing. You just, like, will unlock something and then you turn around and, like, things. Like that. I actually don't think I can do this in two hours while I'm trying to find everything. Not to see possible. Uh, 
Yeah, he didn't care about the... I have them, I tried to show them to you. My audio might be off sync? Like, from the game? Or from me? Or both? Is that better? Wow, it is desync. Or I mean, I guess I'm looking at it, so like. It's worse? Oh no. Oh no, I'm sorry. This is why I don't stream. There's always something. There's always something. I actually don't know what to do about it. I already deactivated the webcam. No clue. It's better? Okay. I don't know. Maybe. I do have that problem with people a lot. I have to like pause and unpause the stream like a lot. Two memories I gotta do through here. Seems normal now. Okay, that's good. Whew. Thanks for letting me know that. this up so bad actually. What did I do to make this work? You have to trap them in there though.
Dude, I don't understand. What did I? Oh my god! Wait, you can jump across? I had no fucking. Holy shit! Wow, that is so much easier. So gross. Oh fuck, dude, my game is broken. My game is frozen. Shit. Shit. What if I... I think I'm soft locked. The enemies all died. Wow, this is really strange. It sucks. I guess I have to reload. Oh man. Time loss, I guess. Can't make it up, but still. It's a play again. This game is not super optimized. It runs fine, but you can probably tell I'm dropping frames. They said they're gonna put out a GPU fix pretty soon. Okay, nice. They also fixed the soft lock, but I guess it wasn't the one that I just got. Can I roll just for fun? No, I need to do it to uh, jump on top of it to jump on top of it. 
the whatever I jumped on. It is also fun. Yeah, so you, you're sub the puzzle there is that you have to get the enemies on the other side so that you can open the gate. Or like, well, you have to open the gate to get them, to get them out. But it's like, oh, I opened the gate, but now all these enemies are here. So you like lead them around the outside so they get stuck there and look stupid. And then, uh, and then you roll the barrel through the open gate. Seems very happy in the barrel. My cats love the tube. They have like a tube to it. Or no, I own a. I have a box. A cube. It's a cube. But it's still like it's like the same thing. You jump in it and like roll around. And it like makes it like a roll like a dice. They're not very smart. I think they've also destroyed it. But yeah, they do that thing where they like think they're hiding in it. But like half of their ass and tail is out. <laughs> is it all? I made a new one for mine, cats the other day. Put it together. Can't tell if they're using it because it's in their bedroom. I'll check in a couple of weeks to see if there's like black fur on it. <laughs> Acrobatics, ah, I see. Yeah, so does this one, which I don't know if it's good for them or not. It's, but it's the reason why I got it is because it's much taller than the old one, which they love to sit on top of. And it like was made for kittens, so it, they outgrew it. But I let them keep it, and then they like jumped on it so much that it like unscrewed the top and I like, came in and like the middle post was on the ground. Like, oh, how do you do stuff like this? Steps. This is so funny. I hope they never patch this out. I don't know why they would, but... Furniture brand? Uh oh. It's really expensive. Ugh, that's how they get you. Oh, I'll look at it later. That's fun. Ugh. I just like uh, spending like so much extra money on my cats. It's like, it's not. Buying really expensive furniture is like, ugh. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully it's good enough to like last a while. So, oh, there's not memory. It's good thing I checked. Wait, there's. I didn't get the first memory? That can't be real. Oh, the guy on the. I mean, that, that makes sense. That's, that's good. I mean, I'm not saying it's a waste. I just, I'm always like... There's no guarantee that they use it, and then it's like, I could have just bought a nice sorry, piece instead. There's no guarantee to like last a while. Not break. And like stuff that like has scratchers on it, like those are inherently just gonna break because they have scratchers on it. That's... Where's the dead guy? I guess I gotta do the work. Yeah,
random shit, yeah. Mo I mean, I think that's like a rule with cats, and also like babies. Like, sometimes they like stuff, but most of the time, they just kinda want trash. for you, yeah. I, I like them because my cats like to sit and look at things, and I I like to think that the more they have higher cat trees, the less they want to jump on top of my couch and furniture, like, bar and furniture and try to knock stuff off because they throw and shit. Do you find that's a good chance? <laughs> She reminds me of Face from Nickelodeon. I wish you could, like, do a trial. Yeah, my cats use the rope scratcher on their uh, their original cat tree so much that it, like the whole thing just came off. Yeah, and like that's what I'm talking about. Like <laughs> stuff just gets destroyed. Also, I definitely don't want- I mean, I just generally think rope scratchers are better, but I don't want to, like, get a carpet-type scratcher, because I don't want to- I don't want them to, uh, you know, be encouraged to scratch carpet-type things. <laughs> I got this one thing for them that's, like, plastic, and it has, like, a- it has a bunch of stuff on them to, like, rub against and scratch on and stuff. They don't at all engage with it, and I put catnip all over it and stuff, and, and like, it has, like, little rivulets for, like, like catnip in it, and it gets them to, like, engage, and they, like, chew on it, it's supposed to be, like, good for their teeth, and just ignore all of it. They, like, go there, sniff the catnip, get high, and then just, like, leave. Everybody just treats me like a person, and I just love that. It's so funny. Just 
Is there sheet music in here? Fuck, I don't know where the last two are, and I'm kind of getting concerned that it's going to take me time. There's also like one more memory in a bathroom somewhere. <laughs> I just need one piece of sheet music. missing the first one. Uh, I'm pretty sure I went in everywhere. Someone in chat look it up for me maybe. I need sheet music one out of eight. What chapter? Uh slums. I think it's Like two different chapters like four or six i don't know it doesn't matter it's like there's two slums chapters but they're this like they're the same it doesn't matter which one i'll be in the same place probably on the rooftop somewhere that's the first one yeah that's one out of eight yeah, one, one out of eight. The one that's marked one out of eight. Sheet music that's marked one. It's either like, they have, they're numbered. Department you're directed towards? Is that all it says? Going to the rooftops? Okay. So the first one is Momo's apartment. That's where the chapter starts. It's in Momo's. So let me go back there. <laughs> I don't really understand either. Well, there was one here, but... Oh, okay. It's in Momo's apartment? 
And then it's in the bathroom. Oh. So he had two in his apartment, huh? He doesn't. Where's his bathroom? Oh, you can just walk in. I did not know that. There it is. Thank you. Holy shit. I thought there was glass there for some reason. <laughs> so good. Get down. Into the bucket. Thanks for the help. I am done with this now. I don't know where all the other memories are outside of this chapter, but at least we got this far. This is also the time where I most notice how annoying it is that I can't just jump freely, but I need to get down. Not fun. Yeah, I figured, especially because I'm going through real quickly, I don't want you to, like, totally ruin the experience. I think, honestly, I think, I mean, obviously story spoilers you probably wouldn't want, although the story's, like, you saw the ending, that's really it, but, uh, like, it's, like, fun to play an experience and, like, talk to people. I'm not talking to anybody in this playthrough and stuff, so it's definitely, I think, even if you watch the whole thing, unless you watch somebody, like, meticulously 100% and, like, narrate everything. I'll be still have a good time playing it. It's just a good vibe. I do that all the time. Yeah, it's straightforward. It's not bad though, like the story's good. It's just light, like it's like not I like the song a lot. It's just not uh It's not super involved, I guess. What? From 22nd? Oh my god, so tomorrow my water may not work correctly. That's great. Thank fucking god that I finally got them to like fix my fix our website invite system so I could get an invite. So now I get emails about like maintenance and stuff, which is so nice. They used to have to like look at the postings in the elevator. <laughs> Why is this the, so the thing Samir sent me doesn't have a it doesn't turn into a calendar invite. It just says join with Google Meet. Why? What happened there? Why is there a Google Meet? Whatever. Turn my calendar manually. Ten wait. Samir, this says 10 p.m. 10 to 11. I guess probably because 9 is like the time they want you to be in there. I'll just put 9 on my calendar. Just to be safe. Can't reschedule this event. All right, whatever. It's... So it added itself to my calendar, I guess. This is taking, this is gonna take like 10 minutes. There's no way I'm hitting two hours. I think 
far in am I in? An hour and 20 minutes in? An hour and 30 minutes in, maybe? I probably should have set a timer when I started. the lake. Funny hearing that. Sounds good then. Do -do 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 -do. I don't know about this song. Not for me. Yay, a badge. Look, it's on me. Where is it? Oh, I never noticed you can see the drone in the bath in the backpack. That's so cute. Oh, there it is. surprised honestly I don't think I need to talk to her I'm a great musician now you're welcome Seamus is placing on me. Wait, what is it? Rocker X board? I have so many fidget toys. Have I showed? I mean, I have the standard fidget cube, which is cool. It's like, I have them in a bunch of different colors, but like. It's got a switch on it, and it's got this like little 3D 3DS like circle pad, and these buttons, and there's this little roller ball, and you click it, and then it has these like combination lock things. And there's this one which like you spin, and it has this. This is probably my favorite part, which is just like you just put your thumb on it. I think they called it like a comfort stun. And I have this one, which I this is probably my favorite. It's like a cube, but you can just kind of like keep unfurling it over and over. Yeah, I kickstarted it. Oh, look at this. It's so good. This is like my favorite. I just like never stop. You just never stop ever. It's so fun. It's a balance board? Oh, you're st are you standing on it? Oh, okay. I see the thing to stand on for your. Is that hey, Adam? Nice, yeah. Yeah, they're fun. I use them a lot, especially like, oh, and I have a fidget spinner. And I have Rubik's Cubes, those are really good too. Really good, especially if you have like a really smooth one. Oh yeah, check this out. Boom, oh. Yeah, bringing this back. It's pretty though. It's like, oh, it's keying, that's cool. Hands, keep your hands busy. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I also have slime, but slime is messy, so I don't use it that often. It's not super messy, like it gets everywhere. A little bit of it does. Mostly just like can't use my hands until I put it back. But the, the fidget cube is really good because this one is like really like smooth. Like 
crazy smooth. You can like, at like any point, you can basically like, no matter how mangled it is, like, I rotate it, like always snaps into place. Super smooth. So this one's really great. I also just realized I just fucked up the cube, but that's fine. Cause every every couple like every year or so, I like get back into doing relearn how they work. They give us fidget. Yeah, I remember. It's so funny. A shashibo? No, I have not. Bamboo rocker export on the desk. So you stand on this, right? Yeah, yeah. It gets good for you. Keeps I guess supposedly to keep your balance. Helps you build your balance. Fun in motion toys. Oh, it's like a big cube that okay, I see. That's pretty cool. Yo, yeah, I don't ever remember where Elliot lives. Not Elliot. Seamus. Seamus lives. Mechanics. That's cool. Yeah, I like that stuff. I'm losing time. So good. The soundtrack is so good. area. There's one.
normally would not go down there because I know it's not the right way, but I'm trying to make sure I find all the memories. What? Are you kidding me? Chase sequences have the best ones. Go, go, go. Wow, that was so lame. Are you kidding me? That was so cheap, but I guess I got pretty good. Jump on demand. Safe now. I think it's probably just in his house. for dead end. like wirelessly charging it like it's not even plugged in or anything
Oh yeah. That's so satisfying. Let's go. <sighs> kidding me? He makes waste. Can't go too fast or you break line of sight with him and he can't. You're actually fucking kidding me. Who wants to do it? God damn it. I think it's been two hours, so I don't think it even matters. How was that even dying? This game is cheating. What? How did... Oh yeah, Forsaken Fortress. But then you get to go back and use weapons and get your revenge. It's awesome.
I can't believe he closed the door on me. What if I needed to come back? I'm a cat, I can't open doors. Two memories here. I have no, I don't think I have any idea where the memories are. So, I guess be on the lookout for blue sparkles. This one doesn't seem too bad to, uh, have to chapter select and do this. <laughs> yeah, what did I expect? This game is such a good, such good vibe. It's, it's so like chill, except when you're being chased. Just all these little sections that are just like, just enjoy. Gondola down the sewer.
Hurry. Yeah, it really is very similar. I hate that how when you're in the pipe they don't let me go full speed. I know so. I get those memories, that's why I'm Oh, there's one right here. Thought I had came back because I did not notice that. Okay, and that's it. That is the memory. There's no jaw. I thought I could jump onto that little can. Yeah. Alright, good. Ooh, that makes it better.
The only blue I think I see are these LED displays. I really don't want to miss anything. Clearly is I, mean, I guess it's blocked. Now it's Resident Evil. Yeah, the eyeballs, right? It's gross. Mm, see any memories? <laughs> Classic Resident Evil villain though. It's just like throw a bunch of eyeballs on. So that looks like the right way. Since I can jump here. Sure. Yes, found it. Now I can just go, because I'm done. All the collectibles from the sewers. I think I might play replay 8. Just because it was so good. Or watch someone play it. One of us. I want John to finish 7. I think 7 is better, but 8 is more fun. Like, there's so much more fun shit happening. But 7 is like such a good, tight experience. But it also has that, the last third of 7, like the after the house portion, this isn't that good. And 8 doesn't have that problem. The only part of 8 that kind of sucks is like the very beginning, where I had to turn the difficulty down for. After that, it's like all gold. And it's just so fun, like how much all the different stuff. I don't know. Different types of horror anthology style. Seven is down to earth. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely the family aspect of it is so cool. That's why I think it's just so unbelievably good. Like, the house portion of it is so fucking good. It's like the perfect size to like that you like get familiar with the layout and everything and like but it's like still got plenty of puzzles but like you know i don't know there's just some stuff like there's only one type of it like, there's only the molded you know and like I don't know. it's fine it's it's not more than fine it's incredibly good but like i just had more fun in eight with all the different like crazy shit that happened Oh, there's giant sea monster. Oh, the vampires. Oh, the creepy dolls. Like, it's just so fun. But yeah, it's not as grounded. I think. But I, I like that also that they went in a completely different direction from seven. Cause like seven feels hard to beat. So it's like, I think it's fine that like, not even fine. I think it's good. That they went in a totally different direction. <laughs> Yeah, that was, I mean, how sick was that? Do you remember how like pissed I was? I was like, what? What was the point of Resident Evil 7? There's no way, completely don't believe this. This is crazy, they just fucking shot my wife. And then they were like, yeah, it was. And I was like, I know. It was so funny. <laughs> it was so funny. It's like, how are they gonna do this? How do you just shoot me up? What the hell? <laughs> that would be like if, if the beginning of Breath of the Wild 2, if Zelda just dies. It's like, that was the whole point of Breath of the Wild. What are you doing? 
<laughs> oh my god. That was so funny. It's such a good bait. Even though I was like, I was like 99% sure. I was like, there's no way this is a bait. Like, it's fake. There's no way they just killed Mia. Mia. Um, like, I was still pissed that they got me. I was like, okay. Alright, like I'm still mad even though I know, like, ooh, <laughs> it worked. Emotional manipulation. All right, so there's a ton of fucking stuff I missed here, so I gotta, I'm gonna have to spend a lot of time looking around, because I missed like five memories of this village and I didn't think it was that big of a place. Uh, but yeah, so that's my thoughts. Like, I just, I think Seven is probably the better game just because the house portion is like untouchable. But I had more fun with Eight, and it's more consistent. I, I tried to go back to the Seven DLC, and I couldn't. I don't know why. Like, I should try it again, because I heard it was good, but I was just like, I don't, I'm not getting into this. I don't know what's going on. What am I missing? I also want to do Leon's portion of 2. 2 is pretty good. I don't think it was as good as 7 or 8. Just because there's some stuff. Like, I worked really hard to conserve my ammo, but then, like, the enemies just respawn all the time. So it's like, what's the point? I hate that. Stuff like that. Just kind of ruin that. Yeah, in RE2. They like, the enemies like respawn after a certain portion. I don't know what the rule is. I don't know if it's time based or like what it is exactly. But uh, I think it, like, I think it's like if you progress a certain amount in the story, in the story, they like get up again. And I'm like, but what's the point? Like the whole, oh, I can't take stuff because he's sick, right? Like the whole purpose of this is that I like conserve my ammo and get headshots and stuff <laughs> specifically so I don't have to deal with these enemies again and it's like well they're just gonna respawn anyway it sucks. you hate chases and you hate respawn yeah did you you played too though right the chases are the chase was I mean it was stressful but it wasn't that bad at all but it definitely was stressful it, it, more than anything it's just like you can't hurt him and it lasts like like a good chunk of the game but he's pretty dumb so it's not too bad John I started oh yeah yeah okay that's what it is. see it's definitely good I enjoyed it a lot but I just I just think seven eight are better and I want to so like Leon's story is like different but also I don't know exactly like overlap somewhat with players but like in order to I don't know you're like supposed to play there's like three different you've like played the game three times or something. I don't know. but uh, I didn't really feel like doing a lot of that stuff again I just never really Jack does the same yeah but he does it for a lot less time Mr. X is there for like a long portion of the game and like they still expect you to like play the game normally and like solve puzzles and stuff whereas when Jack does it like all you're doing is surviving. Yes. So I can definitely see why one would make you mad and not the other. But either way, I think it's all good. I'm, I'm really just excited that Resident Evil is like... Well, games-wise. I heard the new show is like horribly bad. But I don't really think I care that much. Oh, there's a yellow one. Well, that was easy. Okay, cool. So, I know where the purple one is. I gotta find out. I mean, if you see white yes. and memories too. I actually cannot believe there's so many memories in this place that I didn't get.
Oh, there's the red one. I thought it was white, but maybe it's red. <laughs> This music is so good. Oh. Yeah, it's way longer. Yeah. Oh. Don't see any memory. Oh, there's only one here. That's, not a wall. That's weird. I thought it said Ant Village. Oh, I missed five in Midtown. Yeah, yeah, okay. This, I believe. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, this village does not have that much stuff in it that, like, should even be possible for me to miss five. Like, it's just simply not that big. You have to make sure I find the one, though. Which is probably just up. Oh no. Gosh. You and uh your house being too hot. A little more iconic to you. Moved across the country, still the same problem. A badge! I got the plant badge. Yeah! Plant badge. So sensitive. No, it's. I like it's pathetic. I think it sucks to not have like central AC. <laughs> you know, I'm very spoiled. Out of my whole life, I don't see that changing. You got something I would want to live without. I gotta be careful. There's a one way somewhere here. I think it's that. I think once I go through there, I can't come back. It's kind of weird that they don't warn you about this one. Use your work benefit? Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, well, we're halfway done with summer, at least. I got all the flowers, Milky. I did. I accidentally found one of them, and then the other one. And then, of course, because of you, I knew. I don't remember where this memory is, though. Unfortunate moments. So. <laughs> oh, little did you know. I learned about heat domes. Isn't this the memories? There's red. 
Yeah, isn't it literally right? Oh, it is right here. Okay, I just want to see. You're not a bug. Nope. I think like, yeah. So like, basically like, when there's a grad gradient of temperatures, like a te longitudinal disparity of te of temperatures, very high over the ocean, when it hits land, it causes a heat dome, just like hot air gets trapped by like layer of moisture above it, so it's like a big bubble, and that's what's happening. That's what happened in Canada, I guess, a while ago. I don't remember when. And it's what's happening in the UK right now. Where it's like, it's not just hot. It's like, the hot air is trapped there. So they're living like a bubble. It sounds uh, really bad. My UK uh, co-workers were talking about it. And he was saying like, like, first of all, it was 104 Fahrenheit, which is extremely hot. And it should never be that hot. Honestly, I think it's illegal. Um, but like, I guess in the UK, like everything in America is like asphalt and concrete, so we can handle temperatures that high because it like is not rare for it to get. Obviously, not everywhere in the US, but like it's not rare for it to get into the hundreds in the US. Like it happens, you know, everybody can tell you that it happens all the time. Um, but not not the case there. So like their roads and and like the, where their like railroads, what their rails are built on. Um, are like soft stone-ish, I guess. And so like their te the, the temperature tolerance they have is like a range. And so if they had had higher tolerance to make it okay in hotter heat, um, it would be worse in the winter. And I guess it overall gets colder there than hotter. Um, and then like their railways are just like sit on top of this like stone. So now that it's like kind of melting, it's like extra soft. Uh, it's like making it so that they can't like use the rail um, whereas like here it's concrete and asphalt, which can obviously handle 104 degrees, but also like we have like concrete, I guess, um, our like rails, like along the side of the rails. So they don't like move left to right when it's like soft, like it still stays in place. So they just like, don't like have the physical infrastructure. It sounds really bad. Um, today at least was better, but yesterday he was like, or on Tuesday he was like, it's 104. Nobody, there's like no AC anywhere. Can't do anything. <laughs> it sounded so bad. All right, we made it back to Midtown. There's six and six memories and one big one. So the big ones you always get. I don't think I even have a choice. There's six little ones I gotta get. There's also at least one badge. So that's the big one. <laughs> See, like I said, you can't not get it. Now I just gotta find a little one. It's... It could be anywhere. It could be memories.
but I guess not here. Anytime I see blue, I'm like, oh, is it a memory? Oh, here's one. Oh, I don't know if I ever found this. Where the mem's at? What is the point of this room? Besides so all the cow pictures. What's the point of this room? Your memory? Or is there nothing? I definitely did not do a lot of vertical stuff last time I was here. So that's probably an opportunity for something. Oh. Dude, what? How, literally, how am I jumping down at that point? God. Come on. God. Where was the next jump? There one? Was there not one? Oh, 
Why can't I jump onto this pipe? Really? I really find it hard to believe it. I can't climb higher here. There's a badge in here. This one's the coolest one. The cat badge and it glows. Isn't this sick? This is another reason why it feels unfinished, I guess. It's all these... Like, rooftops are so defined in the slums, and in Midtown, like, they're all just kind of gimped. Alright. See you later, Alicia. I hope you feel cool and have a good time at the comedy show. I hope it, the comedian is good, also. Not a raging trend. Yeah, love you too. See you later. You get the good ending. I was I was genuinely thinking that. I mean I don't I do wonder if getting everything it's like I got the music badge this time. Patterns. It's really cute. So this is just a vista point? This is what I mean, like what? Like wow, I got such a great view of the center of the city. It's very odd. It just doesn't feel right. There should be more. I'm also aggravated because I don't know where these memories are, so every time I find something like this, I'm like, oh maybe this is where the memory is. Oh yeah, I forgot about this person is like, you have to pay me in real money. Maybe she's just joking.
Yeah. I mean, actually, now that you say it, I forgot that there's this. So, like, you just sort of get an idea. Can I pocket all of them? I don't have pockets. Okay. Sorry, Monkey. I have to go back into the bar at some point anyway, so I'll talk. Is there some particular reason you want me to do that? Just curious if they would notice. So, I mean, that dialogue changed because... Dialogue changed because uh, hit the cameras without talking to me. The memories, the memory hints also only show you. Oh, he did. Yeah, I do remember him saying that. Okay, I'll talk to him again. Um, the memories show you the room they're in, but not really like how to get there. Of course, it's reasonable, but like. You know. It's like not always helpful if I don't know what room that is. Yeah. Hey, how are you doing? come back here anyway the clues so it's probably easier if I just do that when I come back it's a clown. I have been trying to look I don't think I can get into anybody else's apartments open a box I can't that's the one cat thing that I, I can't do
I'm on the sofa? Okay, can't I can't do that either. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's exactly what happens when you get all the patches. I don't see anything. Like my butt. I can't do that on command. But the cat does lick itself. Seriously, just nothing here, okay. Memory wise. Actually, I guess he just says. Oh, yeah, this is. Going out and when you go out, I guess. Can't do that either. You know, you're really showing me that I've there's been a lot. Well, I never I never came into the bar before. So, uh the cat roleplay does leave a lot to be desired. It's just ahead. Maybe it's like his outer shell and took it off. A mem, a mem. Just the one memory here. Cucumber near me? Oh yeah, I'll freak out. Stuff does fall near me and I do freak out. So he's got that part. Never figured out these surgery doors either. It may not mean anything.
Yeah, I mean, it's also worn, so I guess it could be from... Or at least, like, before the companion style of their own language. I don't know how many memories are in the Nico warehouse. Nico. This looks like... There's a sign, a plant. Yeah, graffiti. A couch, yeah, it's a couch. This one is... This one is definitely in the warehouse, right? This one looks like it's inside of it. One outside somewhere where there's posts. Orange lighting. Okay, and then this one is. This one also kind of seems like it's in the warehouse, but it's like. Wait, no, I remember where this is. I remember where this is. I don't remember where. I remember being in this room, though. I don't remember what building it has in this basement. It's in a basement. I think it might be in the warehouse as well. So this is the real... This one is the real... Basement of the bar. Oh, does the bar have a basement? I couldn't remember what room has the basement. Uh, maybe I can't get to the bar right now. Or the basement right now. Maybe I can. Around the dumb waiter. Oh yeah, that's that's in the um. That's not the bar. That's in the nightclub. So I can't get in there yet. Yeah. But yeah, thank you. That is really nice. okay. So that's one mystery solved. Um. I don't know what the point of this room is. Wait, there's a ceiling. Huh. Ah. Aha. Okay, so it was not actually in the warehouse. It was that it was the orange thing that I thought was the point of the warehouse. <laughs> McDonald's! Like McDonald's, McDougal's, McDolan's. All right, so that's another one. I kind of think I'm having a lot of fun doing this run. I kind of think I could speedrun this game. I mean, not, you know. I kind of think it, would, it wouldn't make me want to die to speedrun this game. I don't think I could just like start doing it right now. But I think it would be a lot of fun. I think I already have a pretty good, it's short enough, I have a pretty good idea of how it works. And if I finish this run, then I 100% it. 100%, it's just kind of a matter of probably get a pretty decent time. Um, there's already a routing. There's all the the day at one day after any game with any amount of notoriety comes out. There's uh like a naive routing. <laughs> like somebody has has at least figured out the fastest way to play through the game without like any which is or like a fast way. So like there's nothing our routing. How good it is, I don't know. It's been three to three, four days, right? So probably half decent. I bet people have found glitches. All right, so I have the whole outfit. I guess I can just start the factory. 
see what's in there. I know there's at least one entire area I didn't go down last time because I didn't realize it was. Uh, I thought it was the right way to go, so I went the opposite. Uh, of course. You want to glitch the walls? Well, I'm skipping half the story. This looks like where the memory is, but the lighting is not correct. But yeah, I think I could, I think like the next time I play this, well, I think if I weren't trying to get everything, I could definitely hit the two hour mark for the speedrun achievement. I don't, I'm pretty sure I can handle that. I know the game pretty well now. And two hours is already like a pretty respectable time. Just, you know, the neon sign. That one, yeah. Okay. What about for these ones? So this one is just like a wall. I don't know. And then this one, we know where that one is. I think there might be one in. I mean, I guess let me just. Well, no, I'll do that after. There might be one in Clem's room. I don't. Know. But that might be where that one is. I don't really want to. I don't really want to go out of my way back there just for the memory when I know I have to go back there. Anyway. You're right though. I also do think the neon sign is the big clue. This is orange. There's no close to it. And a sock? Four out of ten? That's not very good. It's on your foot now? And it's still only four out of ten? That's so sad. This is another one of those nice moments I was talking about. Like sometimes the game just lets you chill. Oh, I never found this guy's keys either. Okay, okay, that's another thing. I Ion nib. You know, that's another thing you can't do in this game. I guess it's, uh, you know, drug free. Good, we're good, we're good, I'm not in your sight. Oh, I can't go there. Shit, I'm gonna get shot. These ones don't shoot, I guess. But I could go there, and that maybe there was a mem there that I
So this is the right way to go? Yes, this is the final way to go. So I don't want to do that. We want to go here first. Oh, wait, is this just a shortcut? Are you kidding me? No, wait, this is a different room. Isn't it? No, it's not a different room. I'm gonna get shot. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way out there. I wonder if I can use the barrel to... Because I think once I pick up the, uh, the sensor, yeah, exactly. <laughs> once I pick up this thing, I get booted out right away. I'm pretty sure this is the end. I get the bomb and I leave. Yeah, because then that door closes. Yeah, this is correct. So let's not hit this yet. Do you think that guy's keys are actually in the game? I think it'd be really annoying if they they like said that but didn't put his keys in the game. I jump on top of these things. This one is empty. Why in? Let me jump on. Can I get down? Why did they open this? What's the point? Did you mean to do that? Yeah, they, he, they highlighted the, the word keys, so they absolutely are in here somewhere. Can you give me any hint? the shortcut back. Why do you say that? I just don't see any place to go, like no interactive or anything.
Yeah, it makes sense. And that's probably what I should have done instead of trying to reverse, but it's fine. But yeah, this, this is the only shortcut in the entire game, so... Actually, there's one other Dark Souls shortcut. Yeah. Nice, a new badge. Echo badge. Cool. This is good timing. What a good cycle. Look at that. What? Through the... That's really unfortunate. Let's get around to... Killed the cat. Oh. Wait, I don't have the badge though, do I? Oh, I still have the Neko badge. Oh, I... Easiest death warp of my life. I love these automatic filing cabinet things, they're so cute. Bye bye. Thanks for stopping by. Great. Battery get. Oh yeah, that was the Dark Souls shortcut I was thinking of. So yeah, it's just the cave, it's just the bucket the side things. Alright, so the world state's changed now. So we'll finish up Clem's apartment. Let's see. That was close. Oh shit. Hey, wait. This area is orange, and there's postings everywhere. It might be a memory or something. This looks exactly like it. 
I never figured out what to do in this room either, right? Something. It can't be a nothing. No, there has to be something. Maybe there's something. Oh, here it is. And I just need the nightclub one and we're done. Wait, oh, apparently I'm wrong. Oh no, the, yeah, I, I'm like very certain Clem's room has the other member. So, even is this place? Uh, is it for the nightclub? The nightclub one is like definitive. We know it's there. Okay, so I guess I just can't go that way. Oh, that was simple enough. Seriously. These things are ordered, right? Otherwise, I'd be able to grab. That's her room. So now the question is Plant couch plant couch neon sign. Here but in reverse. I don't think there is any. The green is throwing me off because I think it's sweet. Oh, well, I guess it's not her room. Okay. That sucks. Thank you. 
Oh sh Oh no. Damn it. Ah oh, fuck. I don't know where that last one is. Oh, they took the whole thing away from me. That sucks. Oh, because they knew I had it. This time I just have to wait. <laughs> Why, why did I do that? That was scary. Realizing that I never actually have to come to the bar. Oh yeah, you do. You have to knock the thing on. All right, so where is that green couch? It's not a green couch. It's a couch in a green, to green sign. I'm also very acutely aware that we have not used the rooftops a single time. Literally never ever mattered. Which... Not that my opinion matters. On this subject. Oh, there's somebody here now. Do you actually want... Rocket cat lens. Where is there a green line? Green sign. The green sign. It's out. It's the right one though. I think it's like yeah, it's it's one word. It's not two lines.
Another bar. Right here. There's already a memory in here as well. We got the memory that was in there. Okay, do you have any idea? Do you remember? It's like a sign sign too, so I would expect to see it from the outside. It's in a- is it in a window? Kinda looks like it. Can't really tell. Let's see. PD. There's definitely a sofa there. It might be up somewhere. I would actually be happy if it's up. Because then that would give me a reason to go up. Every time I want to go up, I'm just hampered at some point. That's the nightclub entrance. The nightclub, I think, is a one way. I don't want to go in yet. Let's see how the end is going. So. Do we have to get the last memory before we do that? Fuck, what if it's in here? That's going to be really bad. I doubt it, though. I explored it pretty thoroughly. And again, some doors might be open now that old suit. I need to look this up soon.
That's the only thing I can think of, but I think that might just be even like a regular light in the sun. I also have no clue how it would get there. So you see what I so like the reason I'm not looking okay so I guess it could be the arrow part it's like one word you know and all the other green signs are like two two lines but okay let's see there's an arrow where's the arrow okay so there's It's possible it's in the nightclub. It's possible it's after the nightclub in the subway. But I don't want to have to come back. Plus, actually, no, I don't think it is possible. Now that I think about it, they're in order. So, like, roughly. So this should have been the first thing I saw. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's in the subway and I missed it. I looked everywhere though. But like roughly they're in order, so it shouldn't be later. It might be in the past. Which would suck if I can't because I can't get back to the subway now. Wait, I guess I can. I didn't realize that. So this is the first one. This is Ladakh, yeah. This one. Okay, so then I haven't locked myself out of it yet. It's good to know. Pandemic restriction. Still come back down. I actually did not know this. I don't think it matters. I don't remember seeing any fucking sofas down here. <sighs> so if it's the next one, then. Checked back 
here a million times. Makes sense for it to be here because you know I've yet to find any use for this area. This is memory. I don't know, they're not numbered. Uh, it's the one after the dock that helps. It's like, let's count. Three, five, six, nine. No, this would be 22 then. I think 17. Yeah. Oh, that's the arrow you're talking about? Sorry? 
is how we get into the nightclub. Upward towards orange sign. We go. Thank you. Oh, I can jump this way. Yeah, I was so close too. I would have gone up and I was like, oh, there it is. Aha. Thank you. Wow. I was so close. I had gone up and I took right instead of left. Alright. Almost done. Almost done. Okay, cool. So that's that. Uh, we're ready for the next one now. Still the most I think like of everything in the game this is the most what the fuck part to me. Alright. Wait, is there anything else here? There's not, right? It's just the note. Pretty sure it's just the Pretty sure we just need the drink for the lever. You know what? I never figured out how to scratch either. I want to do that. That button is there. There's no way they don't let me do it. Timing issue? Wait, for what? Do I need to have brought something to do this grab? Wait, tell me. All the memories though. The only one left is uh, this one, which is in the final chapter, I think. Yeah, because it's corrupted. It's on here. I thought I was being clever by taking the uh, different path this time. But... Why doesn't it let me scroll? This guy doesn't even talk. Yeah, that was probably this one. This one? Because that door wasn't open until I got the battery. Thank you. 
Do you know how to get this to let me DJ? don't mind. I'm so close to being done, I kind of want to push through, you know? Just in case there's like a badge or something. I don't know. Find the vinyl record? Oh. Well, where was that? Is that. Where's the record? I didn't miss it. Maybe it's up. And I come down before I get died. Um, let me check up here first. I walk into that room, I die. Alright, thanks. Yeah, as long as I know it's in here. If I go in that room, uh, I get locked, so I know not to go in there. I guess it's not up. Thing I'm standing on it is nice. Weird that this one doesn't get put in my inventory.
Okay, that didn't do anything. Nothing happened. Huh. They didn't even... Knowledge. That's weird. Is that really it? Does it give me like a DJ badge? sucks. It doesn't even like change the music. Like I can literally scratch records and it doesn't do anything. You need it for a different achievement? What? What do I, what else do I have to do? Whatever, I guess. Got shot. Got fucking shot. All right, now we're back to where I started today, five hours ago. I know there aren't any memories because I don't have the drone, and so I can't get memories. Simple enough. True. This is perfect for you, huh? I am probably not gonna not, like, I'm probably still gonna skip dialogue, but there isn't a lot of it in the beginning. I don't remember exactly when I stepped in. There's this, which is awful. I don't think there's anything I can do about it either. Which s Snicky's called to me? Like, which kind of... Sneakers do I like? I don't know, are there more than one kind? I know there's like dark chocolate.
Oh, horseshit, horseshit. I don't know what is. Oh, just like snacks in general. Uh. I like all I like so many kinds of snacks, man. I like hot fries. I like the Cheetos versions of hot fries. Those are so good. Definitely better than the handicap ones. I like uh, a whole bunch of different types of candies. Um, I like a lot of different types of chips. These chips. Ice cream, beef jerky, big on beef jerky lately. Definitely. Like various types of fries. The prison area. Twinkies. They make these like, you know those iced cakes that they make, the cupcakes? Those just, they make an orange version and I love those. Those are so good. They're like truly delicious. Um, I like popsicles, like all kinds of frozen stuff, but like popsicles are really good. Um, the like really cheap but still very good like flavor ice ones that are like a tube of like greasy pops or sort of those are super good. Um, are they like chocolate covered bananas, like frozen bananas? Those are good too, they're hundred calories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Miss Clementine. You can't. I didn't realize this one now, but the way they blink is actually just them glitching, which is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. Way to fake a human thing. This is the bullshit one, right? Yeah, that's a jump that that cat cannot make. Alright, I've done this like three times. I'm fucking pro. Let's go. Cycle, good cycle. I 
get a good cycle here, we can be out of here so fast. But if I if I don't, then we fucking die. Pick it up, dude. This is the worst part. What the fuck? At least they give you these boxes. To, like, reset. It's, like, free. Which is fine. I'm not mad about it at all. Oh, you can see me in there. Come on, it's not my fault. Shouldn't he didn't cat didn't fucking jump onto the pipe. God, these things are dumb. Are you you have to be kidding me? I'm dead. It's close. makes waste. I keep telling myself this, but I'm just so impatient. Final memory. It's on one of the bodies. Okay, I know where the I know where that is. I think so. I actually think we're done. Just remember to pick it up. I don't have the achievement for all badges, so I must have missed one. Satch. So you want me to do something here? Wait, why did I do that?
This is, I think this is the straight up the worst part of the game. I don't like it at all. It's not that hard, but it's annoying because I, the look, like, that you just die if you don't somehow, like, escape fast enough. And the uh, loading times are so not good. I'm wondering if the U2 is, like, really brutal. It's not too bad though. With some practice, I figure out how to loop. The, the second one, I dread this. There's the memory. And then we're done. All right, first try. Maybe that one's actually easier. As long as I get lucky and I don't get hit, it's fine. That sounds like fun. Spicy chili, oh. Caramel coconut, that's an interesting combination. On real? I gotta try that, that sounds crazy. Pepper Jack cheeses? Hell yeah, I love cheeses. Pepper Jack cheeses are so good. I really like the cheeses with grooves, man. Those are so good. They have so much flavor. Sneaky snack. Really sweet. I don't know. Caramel and coconut together, I've never heard of. But then it, on top of that, it's an Oreo too. So it's Oh, Samoas. Okay, yeah. I guess though that is caramel and coconut, and you know what? Those are like some of my favorite food. So I guess it's, I guess that's not crazy. It still feels weird. I don't know. I guess I just have to try it. I don't know. But I, I really do like Samoas. They're so good. They're not called Samoas anymore. I know there's like 
there's like a version of them not called Samoas because the other company makes them. But I don't know. Because there's like, you know, like two manufacturers of those guys. <laughs> all right i think all right let's set a timer i think i should be able to finish this game by 10 at my time so in 18 minutes because if i remember right the rest of this game is really short Minus cutscenes, which I can't skip. Unskippable cutscenes. What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm glad I replayed it. I'm really glad. I definitely think doing chapter select would have been just not the same. Definitely thinking about speedrunning it. I think two hours is really if I if I weren't picking up because I mean it only took me like three hours. No, it took me like four hours. Yeah, it took me like a little under four hours to get here, and I was trying to hundred percent everything. If I didn't have to pick everything up, I would be done so quick. Because the actual mandatory stuff you have to do is like really minimal, and if I remember where to go, the exploration is like. Of it was hunting memories and one piece of cheap music. Oh, I have to do the cannery. This, this is so obtuse, too. Like, I don't understand this part doesn't make sense to me. But there's not much else you can do in this room, so it's not too bad. Dude, like this is the last room in the game. There it is, and that's the last one. All done. Ooh, ooh, looking fresh. Fuck yeah. Nice. Still wish I had the alt badges though. And I can't believe I missed a badge. What else is there in this game?
Hey Karn, it goes well. I beat the game once. I'm on the cusp of beating it a second time. So I would say pretty well. I got all the memories, so I like this sick jacket. Multiple playthroughs. Yeah, enjoyable. I really just wanted to get everything because the game's short. And I was like, I know I can redo this really quickly. I didn't want to do chapter slide because I was like, I'll just, like, it'll be more fun to do the game again. So I can do it pretty quickly. And I'm getting through it really quickly, but except for when I'm hunting the stuff I hadn't finished. Wow, I got that jacket for all of 30 seconds. Yeah, Disc Elysium's really good. I should go back to it. I just always get, I always just get distracted and then I find it impossible to go back because I'm like, I don't know what I was doing, what checks I was working on, like, I have no clue how to figure out what I'm doing. Even though with the quest log in the game, it just like wasn't useful for me to like get back. So every time I replay, I have to start over and I just like, I don't know. I have that problem a lot with those asymmetric like, RPGs. Have to commit to doing it all in one go, which like I never do for a game though. No, it's not that complex, it's just like, imagine coming back to it six months later. Like, would you, you know, would you have any, like, idea of what quests you need to do or what you were planning on doing? Like, what things around the world, like, you can even interact with? Like, I was just like, I don't know what fucking stuff to suppress. I don't remember where I was in the story to, like, have an idea of what's going on. Bummer. Yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. A week or two? No, a week or two is okay, but like, I end up like, getting distracted, and then I think about it, and I'm like, uh, I, even after two weeks, like, I have to think about a little bit what I'm doing, and that additional friction causes me to put it off more, and then suddenly it's been three or four months, and I'm like, I would have to start over. And I don't want to start over, so I just stop. That's been... You do a lot of spin. You drift a lot. This cat is pretty great. Alright, time. Yeah, wow. Eight minutes left. Pretty good. Pretty good, if I say so myself. I'm gonna listen for this beep that Sofyan mentioned. It's a buzz. Yeah, okay, cool. Guess he's not dead. Alright. Alright. Well, thanks. That was a great journey. If I decide to speedrun it, I'll do it on stream, you know. Some of it on stream at least. Pretty good. I like the game a lot. I definitely recommend it short but it's really good so all right let's go to gabby who is playing remember she is not done so don't spoil it i am gonna get some ice cream in me shit's good all right see ya thanks thanks again i'll see you later bye